This LOS is calculate and interpret the proportion of observations falling within a specified number of standard deviations of the mean using Chebyshev's inequality. Okay, I just put this little chart in and uh, of course that looks like the normal curve, but, and it is, and Chebyshev's inequality is uh, referring to any distribution, not just a normal distribution. So remember, uh, we're going to learn this a uh, uh, couple of times throughout the curriculum. We have our X bar, which is our, um, our uh, sample mean, and then we have plus one standard deviation, minus one standard deviation, plus two standard deviations, and uh, minus two standard deviations, and plus or minus three, okay? So we know, um, and we're going to see that when we look at the normal curve, that 99% of the observations fall within plus or minus three standard deviations. But because Chebyshev inequality is dealing with any um, distribution, uh, including ones that are not normal, then the percentage of observations that will fall under plus or minus three standard deviations is 89%. Similarly, for the, for the uh, normal curve, you're going to have 95% of the observations fall within plus or minus two standard deviations, okay? But under Chebyshev, it's 75%, all right? And the normal curve, we're gonna usually talk about plus or minus one standard deviation, and that's gonna be 68%, okay? But under Chebyshev, about 56% are within plus or minus 1.5 standard deviations. So there's a little bit of memorization that you need to do. Most people are familiar with the 68, 95, 99 for the one, two, three standard deviations of the normal, but now you've got to think about Chebyshev's inequality, which is dealing with any distribution and the formula one minus one over K squared. So let's just do a quick little question to see um, your understanding of the Chebyshev's inequality. So a sample of 438 observations is randomly selected from a population. The mean of the sample is 382, and the standard deviation is 14. Based on Chebyshev's inequality, the endpoints of the interval that must contain at least 88.89% of the observations are closest to A, 340 and 424, B, 354 and 410, or C, 396 and 480. Okay, the correct answer is going to be A. Uh, let's just work our way through it. So the first thing that I did is I just brought that uh, green triangles from my graph because sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. So sometimes you remember, oh yeah, the X plus three standard deviations and the X minus three standard deviations was the 89%. And that's what they're asking here. Uh, the endpoints of the interval that uh, contain at least 89% of the observations. So we know we're talking about three standard deviations and they gave us the standard deviation is 14. So it's gonna be three times 14, correct? So um, yeah, and here's also the math uh, according to Chebyshev. So you can see one uh, minus one over K squared for K equals three, that's gonna to solve to be 89%. So we're gonna start with um, the, the sample mean is 382 and we're going to go three standard deviations to the right and we're going to go three standard deviations to the left, negative three standard deviations. And what we're going to do is we're just going to um, subtract three times 14 and we're going to add three times 14. And that's going to give us the um, 382 plus three times 14 is 424 and 382 minus three times 14 is 340. So here's our endpoints, 340 and 424. Uh, that question should be fairly easy, um, no problems. And finally, this is the last uh, practice question to end this LOS. Um, using Chebyshev's inequality, what is the minimum proportion of observations from a population of 500 that must lie within two standard deviations of the mean, regardless of the shape of the distribution. A, 75%, B, 89%, or C, 99%.
Okay, this question's not too bad. There's really two ways you can do it. You can straight out kind of memorize from our graph that plus or minus two standard deviations was the 75%. But if you remember the formula, it's also going to work for you because it's one minus one over k squared and they're giving you k to be two. So that's going to equal one, um, sorry, one minus one over two squared, which is so easy, you don't even need the calculator which is going to be 1 minus 1 over 4. Again, don't need the calculator, that's 0.25. So it's going to be 1 minus 0.25, and that's going to give us our 75%, folks. And so the correct answer is A, 75%. Memorize it from the graph, similar to the normal, for one standard deviation, two standard, three, uh, three standard deviations. But more importantly, I think it's good if you can just memorize that formula, 1 minus 1 over k squared, they're giving you the two standard deviations, k equals two, solve it, um, easy question. And that's the end for this LOS, thank you.